on Fox, Hidalgo County Information and Technology Specialists uncovered a cyber attack aimed at their email servers. Oscar Margain joins us in the studio tonight with all the details. Oscar, good evening. Good evening, Antonio. And according to Hidalgo County officials, the attack did not threaten personal information, but it was rather the content of an email that caused the alarm. An email sent to county employees containing vulgar language and received late Friday night by Renan Ramirez, the chief information officer, caused a temporary shutdown of county computer systems and web servers over the weekend. Officials believe the imposter who used the same email domain as for county employees belongs to an international hacking organization. It's what they call it cyber terrorism. The, the wanting to upset you, wanting to, for you not to feel safe. It's kind of where it's going. Kind of like, gotcha. It, it was just, haha. -ha. you guys are, you know, don't know what you're doing. That's pretty much it. Ramirez doesn't rule out that the attack could have happened during the maintenance window last week. Nevertheless, he is confident the email did not compromise the public's information or that of its employees. But even so, he says extra security measures were taken. We, we brought the systems offline. We secured the systems, looked at the config, and we reset all the passwords. The way email was designed, is it wasn't designed with uh, security in mind. Victor Gonzalez says that from its inception, this electronic medium has been vulnerable and has to be constantly updated. On a daily basis, uh, 24 hours of the day, uh, there's individuals that are trying to uh, fool you. The ratio between uh, legit messages and what's called as unwanted email, which can be spam uh, or phishing attempts, uh, even malware, uh, viruses embedded into emails. Uh, it's over three-fourths. Gonzalez recommends taking simple security steps such as complex passwords containing at least 12 characters and symbols, have a different security code for each web account, and be wary of every single email you receive. For now, county officials have given the case to Sheriff and ICE investigators who will look into the matter. Reporting for Fox 2 News, I'm Oscar Morgan.